Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I will give you guys a few tips and tricks on how to deal with text, uh, long paragraphs in uh, CSS. Um, when you first encounter this problem, you might think, hmm, that's a lot of boilerplate CSS I need to write to achieve some very simple stuff. And uh, yeah, that uh, will be the case. So um, in this video, I will show you three scenarios uh, of what you may do to achieve different things. So here in VS Code, I have a simple index.html file. And by pressing exclamation mark, I can generate some boilerplate stuff here. And uh, just to make it uh, a little nice, I'm actually gonna a, add a link tag to our, to the style sheet we will be using here. And I'm just gonna call this file style CSS. So we can add a new file over here, style CSS. All right. Before writing the actual CSS, I want to be creating a little bit of markup just so we have some text. So let's make a container, make a div here and give it the class container. Inside here, I have a long paragraph. Let's put in lorem 50 here. Whoopsie. Yep, that's a lot. Um, and then, yeah, this is, will be the text that we will be limiting. Because say you have a an, an array of items, and these arrays have a long title, may have a long title or long description or whatever, and you want to be limiting this. Okay, so um, let's go into our style sheet and just add a few styles to our container. So for now, I'm just going to give it a background color, so we know where our container is, like what the bounds of our container are. And then put in a width here and a height. Okay. All right, that looks, uh, that looks fine. Let's uh, see what happens if we change the height here just to 100 pixel. Oh, looks like we got some overflow here. So say we had a card, right? And uh, we suddenly have text overflowing. That wouldn't be very nice. One easy solution uh, to this, just to show you guys some different options, is to add overflow hidden to the container. That'll be a very easy solution, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's very unreliable. It may not align, as you can see here. Some of the texts are getting cut off. So uh, yeah, never do this. Never, never, never. So let's remove it actually. Okay, so um, say we just want to actually show one line of text here. Say we have a title up here that we want to show, right? Um, what we can do to deal, to deal with that problem is to target the paragraph and then add three properties, three properties. The first one is this overflow hidden property once again. Uh, next one is the white space property where you can add no wrap to that one so it doesn't go onto the next line. And then you need to add the text overflow property and then you need to kind of assign how you want it, the behavior to be when the text is overflowing. So default will be adding some dots, ellipses here. That is my preferred way. So you can see there are some extra text okay so if we add that we can see we get our three dots here and we just have one line okay this is a uh, cool for for headlines and stuff that you just want to be sure it's in one line on one line now uh, this is okay simple we have three properties it may seem like a lot uh, but it's uh, it's not too bad. You will get used to these three. Okay. So, um, but what, let's go to the next scenario. Now the last scenario I want to show you guys. And that is if we want to just show a description, for example, it could be a description, right? And we just want to show three lines, just three lines. Now you could do some JavaScript stuff where you check on the length and then, um, cut that string when you render out the description into the DOM, but um, I would 
not advise advice to do that actually. I would advise to use the CSS solution. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. So if we just remove these two properties here and then add a display property and then add dash webkit box here and then add two additional properties, okay? Uh, the two other ones is webkit dash box orient, oops, orient. And um, here you would like to add vertical because we're going downwards, right? And then you have the opportunity to add how many lines you want to show. And that property is called webkit dash line, oh, line clamp. And in this case, I just want three. Let's say I just want three. If I save that, I get exactly three lines here, three lines. And once again, we have these dots showing up. And that is due to this um, display property and the fact that we assign just three lines. If you change this value to four, we get four, okay? Now, I said I would recommend doing this because um, this property is actually very well uh, supported nowadays. Before it wasn't as uh, widespread, but now it is. And uh, I would maybe advise setting up a snippet for this if you're just getting started, because remembering these uh, three properties can be a little difficult, I guess, to remember every time. So writing a snippet for this would be great. Okay, so uh, just at the end here, I want to show you guys the article that kind of lists, that kind of talk about this uh, CSS property, um, confirming that it's now widely supported. I actually believe it's only Internet Explorer 11 that does not support this, but everything else, Arbor, Safari, everything else, it works on. So it's uh, pretty reliant and uh, you don't have to write some JavaScript to kind of deal with this. You just have everything in CSS. Okay, uh, that's all I want to show you guys for today. Just a few uh, tips and tricks when working with texts uh, in your projects. I hope this was any useful any useful to you guys uh, all right hope you guys hope to see you guys in the next video goodbye